Hello guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, judging from uh, the little yellow thing on the back of the truck, we'll be doing something special today. Uh, I'll, this will be the first outing for the crane. I did some uh, googling and found out what was the issue with um, uh, missing machinery. Uh, I mean, we had four of these for this quest specifically, and I wasn't sure if this is like specific or not. Apparently it's not, you can get the drilling spare parts in uh, another area. However, uh, for the, what was it? For the task, lost container over here, where we actually need one spare drilling part, and it doesn't really show you where it is. It's just kind of hidden. <laughs> uh, may have cheated finding out where it is, which is most likely here in this ditch. So uh, we'll be taking the truck with the crane, accepting this, and actually heading over there and solving that situation. I'm not entirely sure we'll have uh, the time to actually, or the fuel to be honest, to uh, do the, the four things here and also get those back. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. But, wait, did this just show up right now? Oh, well, this is silly. Yes, it, it shows as a dr uh, drilling spare part on this, right? On, on, in this quest. But if you go and activate missing machinery and, uh, not missing machinery, uh, I get lost in things. Lost container, right? Stop tracking, start tracking. Okay, I'm confused. Uh, I think you guys were with me that up until this point this was not shown here. So I have no idea. Either way, it doesn't matter. I know where it is. We're going to be heading out there, getting it, and hopefully also solving this situation if we're here. And if we also have spare time, solve the rest of the barrels we left over there. But I won't keep yabbering, so let's uh, head to it. We got work to do and perfect timing because the rain also started. I did some uh, testing of the crane beforehand just to get the feel for it. <laughs> Not entirely sure how well that will go, but we'll see. If I'm not mistaken, those running parts are like uh, one slot each, so uh, we should only be needing to do two runs near that factory to get uh, everything we need back. And technically, I could have totally gotten the fleet tarfless, but I'm just uh, given the terrain up there in the um, in the factory area. I don't want to risk it getting bogged down again. I have uh, some faith in its new um, in its new uh, uh, tires, but maybe not enough. We'll see if uh, the Paystar actually fully replaces the Fleet Star eventually. But we'll see. It'd be a shame because I have for an emotional bond that truck. No, I haven't really checked what accessories are available for this truck. Um, maybe we can slap on some extra fuel cans or something to it. Not that they will hold much, but uh, as we go on these multi part journeys more with this truck, I have a very, very feeling we'll actually need. Um, more fuel with the consumption rate it has. And again, as for the UI, I, I, I mean, I think you guys saw it in this video and another one that that wasn't just highlighted at all. <clears throat> Oh, 
Okay, let's be a bit careful here. I'm trying to convert, uh, conserve some uh, fuel here because we're. I think by the time we're finishing this little leg, we'll already be like a fifth down. But, oh, okay, it's just here. No, uh, no mud, no anything? Okay. Okay, let's park and break this. <clears throat> let's go V. Let's go activate anchor. Let's go crane mode by pressing the C. Uh, this is not mouse control, this is <clears throat> WSAD. You see the controls at the bottom there. Okay. Uh, winch, lift, lower. Okay. Let's lower the truck. Sorry, the crane itself. Okay. Uh, did that attach? No, oh, yep, that did attach, cool. with this oh I guess this is why you'd use the flatboard trailer instead of the sideboard okay let's lower it with the winch why not okay uh, let's make it a bit neater um, so it's CV Okay, there we go. Uh, I pressed B, which shut off the engine accidentally, <laughs> but that's all good because uh, the cargo is properly packed. There we go, strapped in. Let's restore the crane. Uh, did that remove the anchor as well? Yes, it did. Cool. Okay, that's solved. Let's remove the handbrake and let's head out. Reach. Okay, cargo management, lost container, one at one, perfect. It was that close, huh? <laughs> wow. Well, thanks for putting this one to bed. Well, you're welcome, dude. 2010 XP and 1300 credits. Credits are not a problem, XP uh, at this point it's just <clears throat> a constant thing that we continuously need. So, with that being said, let's. Uh, make our way over to the drilling site. Well, not the drilling site, the factory, and get those drilling spare parts. Actually, where do we need to deliver them? Uh, t -t 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 -t. Missing machinery, right? Okay. Was I tracking two quests at the same time? And that's why that was getting highlighted, because it was part of this quest? Weird. Anyways. Uh, right, so we should deliver to the factory some spare parts. Okay, so it's a factory, not a drilling site. The drilling site will be here. Okay, so let's just, yeah, head out, head out, uh, let's take the nice solid route, head to here, here, and then we'll see what we see there. We're kind of running out of quests uh, here in this area, so uh, I think it might be time for us to, at the very least, move over to the Smith Smithsville Smithsville Dam. We have a few quests that uh, missions, quests, uh, tasks, uh, contracts, whatever, that um, are taking us that way. Actually, I'm not even sure. Whether we have to unlock a garage in that area or is it automatically unlocked? So, am I going with a truck? Am I going with a scout? 
I don't know. I'll probably actually go with um, the truck that actually, you know, does fulfill the quest. Let's not make it an empty run all the way there. And the scout truck, just so we have another route to make with um, an actual task or contract. a bit bothered by how much this weights until it uh, switches to the lower gear but well as I said I can't do that manually if I really want to save them manually okay let's all wheel drive through this Let's not clip through that, that would be bad, okay? Let's just take it easy. We don't want to clip our wheel through that uh, guardrail, security rail. Okay, so I think we're taking a left here. Yeah, we're taking the long way around. Well, long Sixty liters of fuel. Okay, I assume we'll be doing something at this site in the future, but for the moment not. break here because apparently the map didn't really help us very much uh, the things are oh yeah they're up this hill uh, so uh, basically we have to go up here and then see how we're gonna be crossing that stretch there yeah I mean it, it's slightly worn in and for sure we cannot uh, rain from the bottom that's way too steep and way too far so for sure we have to do it from the top mm. yeah we have a little path here made for us how do you lose them here Okay, 
time break on. Uh, we're on a timer here because this, use, this uses fuel. Let's go V. Uh, let's go C. Let's go 5 to anchor us down. Uh, w. Uh, wow, okay, this would be interesting. That's the winch. I need the crane movement, so let's go F. Uh, let's attach the cargo. Okay, are we having a problem here? Oh, oh, do we not have enough power to lift this from this angle? Oh, interesting. Okay, let's go. Let's escape from this. Let's restore the anchor, the crane. I'd like to remove the anchor if I'm not mistaken. And let's uh, get ourselves in a in a better position here. Apparently, this crane business is a lot more involved than I thought. Okay. Uh, stop. Stop. Don't move anymore. Stop. Actually, what am I stuck in? something. Okay, let's handbrake. Let's V. And let's give this a shot. Okay, let's use the winch to get this up. Okay, uh, we have a lifting problem? No, we don't. Okay. Weird. Let's line that up. Uh, okay, let's lower. And is that close enough for me to do... Pack cargo? It is, actually. Okay. Possibly a bit cheating, but... Okay, this is close enough. Uh, I know, seems a bit bad for me to do it at such a, of an angle. Also, this is some terrible muck here, wow. Doesn't matter. Uh, v. Activate anchor, crane mode. Let's lower this. Attach. I cannot put it... Okay, that's weird. I can't put it exactly... Uh, okay, should I? Do I have to lift this and then lower it with the winch? I think so, yeah. Uh, okay, kind of. That still doesn't... Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh. Uh, okay, let's pause this recording and I'll get back to you guys. Uh, the game just crashed on me. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, the game apparently just saved here. I don't know what's happening um, luckily it did save uh, now the problem is I cannot 
pack that cargo. Let's do a restore anchor. Uh, that's definitely not there properly. Uh, we'll try moving uh, the truck around. Uh, wow, well, I wouldn't be this stuck in mud. That'd be nice. Actually, I don't know. What's our exit from this? Even if we do move, uh, should we just go downhill and take it to the factory? Yeah, I think that's a smart option. Just uh, break it down through here and then head up to the factory. I'm pretty sure that uh, thing isn't properly set there, that, uh, that drilling part, but oh well. I'm hoping it will wiggle itself free. Or just fall off. So we can actually secure it properly. Okay, easy does it. There we go. Well, I think even if we don't secure it properly, that still counts. <laughs> uh, the mission will accept it, I think. But let's not... Okay, let's try it. No, it's unpack, unpack cargo again. Let's do unpack cargo and see if we can... Ah, there we go. Perfect. I will call that a win. And be careful next time not to do that thing again. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how... I think it would have worked eventually, and it's just a matter of getting a high enough angle and a low enough uh, winch so you can actually place it uh, that close to the crane, but I'm unsure. Or maybe that's just the way the game is intended to be played, just lower it enough even on the other crate and it automatically packs it. it seems a bit weird though. Our green parts are pretty hefty, and putting the crane there actually puts a lot more uh, pressure on the back of the truck. I don't think we should be having any issues, but I think I am feeling that the front of the truck is getting a bit raised more than it uh, usually is. And you know. In the discussion between the flatbed and the sideboard bed, I think it makes it easier to crane into a flatbed than into a sideboard bed. But I don't think I saw the option of having a crane with a flatbed, to be honest. There's an option just to get the crane as a separate part, but I don't think that's uh, that actually allows me to also put in a flat bit separately after that. But, uh, I guess we'll see when we get back to the garage and make a bit of uh, testing. drive we hopefully have enough fuel to actually do the other two crates as well so we don't have to uh, come back here again I mean, I'm kind of feeling that we should have a fuel refueling, well actually a refueling option uh, here but I don't know after I'm doing all of this I'm not sure how much more uh, how much many more tasks we'll have in this area Maybe a bit more once we have the uh, drill set up, which actually I, we do have a, um, a contract to get the drill set up right now available. Either way, let's head here and let's. Uh, okay, that's the task. So I have to dig things here. Management. Okay, I'm confused. 
Oh, unload cargo. There we go. Missing machinery. Two out of four. Okay, that's solved. And let's head out. Uh, can I head out through here? No, we have this uh, transformer. So no, let's head out on the long way. Let's go through the mucky route here. Let's get those crates. Actually, I think uh, I can get this from the road. I don't need to go from top here, but we will see. I think it's easier to load it from high up, uh, from above your position, than to load it from under your position. We've seen that uh, loading it from under your position is, well, or was impossible. Not sure if there was anything else going on back there. Actually, while we're here, these are scout trailers. This just triple double ultra check that we cannot uh, attach them yeah okay no to try to attach so yeah um i'm just double checking that maybe i can uh, grab that trailer it'd be, it'd be nice to get that back to the garage and sell it get some of that uh, investment back because i did buy one of them but then again i did sell half a map of trailers so i guess it evens out on this at a bit of an angle because we exactly that's exactly why uh, it's set a bit higher the 3d model itself which is annoying that you have to handle it so you actually have to force yourself in there we go oh is this buckling on me wow is that actually mobile and can that get disturbed if you mess it up wow I thought it was just like a static piece of uh, environment, but apparently it's not. God rays are overbearing and we're like really poor quality. <laughs> okay, is this the end of the line? Yeah, okay, I see a crate in there. Is this the top crate or the bottom crate? The top crate, okay. And the bottom one, we'll leave that uh, the last just because. I don't want to climb up the mountain with it. That looks a bit muddy there, so might as well just slide all the way down. Okay, this should be solid. Let's handbrake. Let's uh, activate the anchor. And let's control the crane. Let's try to put this in the back again. Hopefully the game doesn't crash again. Okay, so we said we needed uh, it to be... Ooh, ooh, okay, let's not... Okay, no, 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 what, what are they doing? What are they doing? No, up, up, up. Okay, no, that's... Uh, I don't need to go up, I need to go lift, right? That's what I care about, lifting, yeah. Okay, let's balance this out a bit. Because the car, uh, the truck is a bit uh, poorly set. Lift, let's lower the winch. Apex? Nope, it's still going. I 
think that's maxed. Okay. And now I'm lowering the winch. Okay, yeah, okay, there we go. That allows me to... Let's rotate the cargo a bit. Let's pull this back. Nope, we want it this way. And let's lower it with V. Uh, okay, is that enough? That's perfection right there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's restore the crane. I mean, literally, that's perfect. Okay, let's go pack cargo. And let's do the bottom one. Oop! Ahem. Erm, um. Erm. Ah, crap. Okay, <laughs> uh, I don't have any winches, right? Well, I do have a winch, but it's not an autonomous winch, so it doesn't do me any good. I cannot use it. Hmm. <laughs> that has got to be the most useless thing uh, I could have done. Uh, if I remove the cargo, will that make my truck wig out a bit no and i can't pack it anyway at this point um uh, you know what guys i think i'll have to call it here uh, we're getting a bit late in the uh, video anyway uh i'll uh, grab this truck again i'll restore it grab it again uh come back out here again and we will finish loading these two uh these two crates and that will entirely be my youtube cover <laughs> Anyways, that was today's episode. I hope you guys had fun. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm going to be putting these videos up probably once a day, every day, until I'm either sick of the game, which probably won't happen, or we've reached a point where we consider that we have solved the game. Anyway, shape or form, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one, hopefully with less dipping. <laughs>